Hey Realm Walkers, I am Serratus Orbus, and I hope you're having a fantastic day today. Instead, if you're having a really shitty day, or if there's a shitty person in your life, definitely come and hang out, because at least here, you won't have to deal with that. This is episode 28 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And today, we've got quite a lot to do. We are still going to continue the Nelly Blight quests so that we can get into the watch and hopefully get into the mid-game. Uh, before that, though, we've got a few other things to do. Uh, namely, I want to make some columns. You know what? Let's just get into it. This right here is what I'm talking about. This Tudor Support Pillar. I want to get rid of these. Uh, because they kind of look not good against this desert wall. Like, you can see the desert wall actually clipping through in places. So it's not a good place, or it's not a good piece to put here. So I'd like to get rid of it. I'll take that beam, please. Uh, same with this one. I believe we put one more back here. Yes. Um, in their place, let's put um, these, these desert ornate pillars. Oh, but it's kind of mostly hidden. Like, the ornate part is just, you know, not seen, so that would be a waste. Um, we could try these other pillars, but they're, they're probably going to get hidden, yeah. These are better if they were out here. If they were in these spots. Okay, so... I would still like to put pillars there, to be perfectly honest, for extra support. So we'll just have to do with these uh, tiled pillars. Makes them nice and chunky. And let's pop one back here, too. What does that need? Eight bricks. I think we've got eight bricks. Nice. There we go. Looking great. Looking great. Okay, we need to deal with this uh, Ritual Seed Nursery. Uh, let's give it to an automaton. Off we go. Let's see if this works, yeah. Um, nope, not this one. Hopefully this leads us to a bishop and not, like, some bug. Let's go. Oh, don't tell me it's in a fight. It is in a fight. Oh, you suck. Grasshoppers, you suck. I think because it's in a fight, we can't offer to it. Um, I don't want to get in there because in case Carrie accidentally hits the bishop. Oh. Okay, let's see what it does. If it attacks us... Wait, no. Let's do this first. Let's kill that... Yeah, he's still angry. Let's kill that one guy. Oh, but if we hit that rook, then it's going to get aggressive against us. So I think we just wait this out. The rook one. Which it should have. You know, it's got that really powerful AoE. Let's 
go talk to the bishop. Hopefully it's calmed down, and if it hasn't, we'll have to leave, reset, and try again. Oops. Hi, are you mad? Are you mad at me? Yeah, it's got the little death face thing. That sucks. I guess we're resetting. Didn't even fade in that time, just kind of popped in. Okay, let's make a couple more cards and get back out there. Alright, let's reset this fella. Probably didn't need to do a reset, like a full reset, but um... Oh well. Spawn in! She's still swinging, she's like, ah, <laughs> die. <laughs> nice. A single shelf just demolished all three. That away, eh? Oh, you're not finding one. Oh wait, this way. Oh, it's leading us to an insect. Lame. Okay, let's kill the insect, I guess. This should be easy since it's uh medium. That's really way too easy on medium. But, I mean, we're also like way over geared against these things, so... Yeah, it makes sense. Just annihilated them. Okay, hopefully this next one brings us to it. Here we go. Another one. I know, I don't want bugs. Are we gonna have to kill every single bug here? No, no, are you kidding? Did don't you all see this? Don't you all see this? I mean, y'all y'all brought it on yourselves. Not gonna lie. I mean, the the evidence for your demise is all over you. <laughs> What are we going to do with all these freaking bug parts? Okay, Bishop. Give us Bishop. What? Why? Why are you pointed there? Why are there... <sighs> I 
I have a feeling that's beyond there. Oh, there it is. It's pointing to this. Oof. It's probably a bug. Let's just let's just get the hell out of here. Let's reset again. That's really frustrating. Let's, let's try this again one more time, please. Reset. Let's go. Man, I hope we don't have to do this too many times. Because, yeah. That first time would have been perfect if he wasn't aggroed by some stupid grasshoppers. I know they're locusts. But grasshoppers are basically just nicer locusts. Yeah, that feels nice. <laughs> that feels nice to do. Okay, that's good. Right to it. Oh, it's another stupid bug. Okay, did the new fabled beast show up? Can we have a freaking bishop now, please? The other side, huh? We're never gonna find it, are we? There's just too many fabled things here. Whereas the other one, you know, it's an elder Iotan, which is rare. And the sun giant. The Fabled Sun Giant, which is also extremely rare. So those are going to be a lot easier to track. Ah, this bishop is annoying. That's a knight. Let's just run around and hopefully we'll find one. I'll cut to it when we find one. If we find one. Sir, I am extremely glad to see you. Why? Wait. Are you... Don't be hostile, please. Uh... Where is it? There you go. Man, that took us forever. Ooh. Thanks. You're great. Oh. That took way too long. Let's go home. Okay, went home, came back, because I forgot we gotta talk to Victor first. Huh, thankfully this one spawned in super close. It's occurred to me just now that the resets we should have done in extreme rather than medium. It's just an oversight, I just didn't think of it, and I'm sorry. Uh, okay, what you gotta say, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? About that ritual charm oil. You've retrieved the bishop's charm oil? Then you've done what I could not. Allow me to examine the undoubtedly anomalous substance. Here, will this work? Curiosity and gladness akin to rapture. Feelings I worried had left me for good had that are awakened once more thanks to... 
earnest research into the hidden laws of nature. Sorry, it wasn't scrolled down for some reason. It is a strange substance. Indeed, it lacks the customary ebony sheen of earthly oils. Instead of reflecting light, it seems to absorb it. While more testing would be beneficial, its exposure to the desert conditions leads me to believe it is safe enough. It hasn't destroyed the automatons yet, and that counts for something. Um, let's continue with the lore, because this lore is important. Seeing them up close, they are amazing machines. Indeed, my only regret is not reaching an understanding that they had volition sooner. It should have been obvious. Egyptian, Chinese, and Greek craftsmen have all had their own variety of automatons. The commonality uniting them was the belief that, after creation, they contained a soul, a yearning, as with Hephaestus's very own Talos. Hmm. Despite this unwavering heat, suddenly I feel a chill running through me, like those from the North Pole. That's, uh... Well, how do we say? Winter court foreshadowing. Will you proceed with your study of the bound? There are many things a man must do, even when they dredge up nightmares beyond conception. Those that live without life is a tome I once took on willfully, and then vowed never to open again. Yet in the aftermath of the calamity, we all must fulfill our roles, and mine was writ in the stars. My only hope is that this time I have the strength to maintain my principles. We don't need to ask this because we already, we already know, and he... He won't be that much of a help. Then solitude is yours again. One more question before you go, if I may. Hmm, how do I put this? Ah yes. In your opinion, when does an acorn become a tree? When it sprouts its first roots? roots? Only one sits sapling. And I personally believe it's always a tree. It's always a tree. The seed is part of a tree. And it goes to the ground and becomes a larger tree. Same with people. Like we're we are a line of life, not individual lives. I mean we are individual lives, but we are a line of lives. A question without answer in some ways. Over the years, the only fitting reply I've come up with, with is this. An acorn becomes a tree precisely when it stops becoming an acorn. Hmm. Is there a moment? Wherever your travels take you, never lose your curiosity of mind. It is the boat with which you may sail upon the endless sea of knowledge. Farewell, Doctor. Let's think about acorns for a bit. While we... wait in our ride back home. Ah. The game is having weird loading issues. I know the more stuff you have, the longer it takes to load it, so... Yeah. Okay, let's take this. Ooh, look at all that stuff. Let's put all that stuff away first, yeah? Let's look at our quests. Let's see, we need to get the Elder Jotunheart next. Oh, I do have to talk to Wilhelmina Sass first to get information on the other two. We can't just have it. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Even though we've already talked to Ludivine St. Clair. Sure, 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 sure. Let's go talk to Wilhelmina. Uh, here we go. Oh, it's quite a run to get to you, by the way. Why can't you, like, move a little closer to camp? You know, because it's not like you're learning anything here. Oh, man. Let's go. Always a pleasure. Uh, do, 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 do. Have you heard any rumors? Need help finding particular people? Um, 
you know, of anyone knowledgeable about realm spirits. And my watch, what might you need for that? Hmm? Visit an antiquarian swamp and you can thank me later. There's quite a commotion coming out of that realm. Tales of ritual sacrifice to a vengeful fate. There are more than a few casualties, but I hear your expert, a woman called Ludivine St. Clair, yet lives. Interesting. We need the last one. I need to find someone who understands the ways of sun giants. Sun giants, you say? Well, who would know than a who would know giant kind better than a giant? I received several reports of a swamp giant, or Grendel as they say, in a swamp gloom who speaks our common tongue. Some say she speaks all human languages, learning a new one from each stray wanderer she makes a feast of. Interesting. If you can't tell already, Willem and Assass is a, um, she's not a real journalist, she's a, uh, what's the term for that? I can't think of the term right now, but it's like... Hmm. That's gonna bother me. You you probably know what I'm talking about. But I just can't remember it. It'll come to me later. And the reason why this is frustrating having to talk to her is because now... Now these quests will actually show up where we can go here and talk to them. Like, we shouldn't have had to because we've already talked to Danu. And we've already talked to... Uh, Blue Divine. But that's fine. That's fine. Let's go home. Okay, first thing we need is a swamp antiquarian. So we need an antiquarian card. We've got a gloom up already, so we don't need to do anything about that. Oh, we should probably make food. Let me let me make some food and then we'll cut back to the adventure. Okay, let's um, let's get back in Swamp Antiquarian, right? Yep, Swamp, Swamp Antiquarian. Real good. Huzzah! Alright, we're back in extreme, so we can't underestimate anything now. Um, west. That way. Still, this is a pretty early realm. So we shouldn't... Oops. We shouldn't have any real problems. Um, still, it's better not to get into any fights. Let's just try and get our stuff done. Here is Miss St. Clair. Oh, Legba, I did everything I could. Ludivine, has something happened? Oh, you came back. Forgive me. I'm a tad out of sorts, is all. I suppose my swollen eyes and dry tears are telling enough. Am I to assume the worst? My guide has gone underwater, as we say. Wasn't no peaceful demise, either. A wicked night of torment and grief. My condolences... <laughs> Excuse me, let's try it again. My condolences, Ludovan. If only I'd come sooner, perhaps. No, my back alone carries burden and blame. We seldom know the will of the spirits. Only our own actions can be subject to scrutiny, like this entire endeavor of mine. Let's keep talking to her. Why do you harbor such deep guilt for this? I set off into the realms on behalf of the ru druids and hermetics to commune with what was most call realm spirits, little different from, from other Loa to a voodooist, 
My aim's been to better understand their desires, so we might better coexist. Three moons ago, my Realmwalker escorts and I happened Fey Ruins. My guides cautioned me to keep a distance, but feeling the strength of the spirits present, I insisted we survey the area. Kuyan, I was. It was my selfish hurry that set off some enchanted snare. My guides, poor souls, are fey touched now. While I got off with little more than a belly full of regret. Um, you can't fault yourself. I truly thought cohabitation of the spirits here was within grasp. But after this disaster, could I could be I was dreaming a fool's dream. Do you plan to continue your mission after all? If I don't press on, I would betray my beliefs, and without them, what would I be? The more I weigh the options, the more I feel that calling my mission off would only serve to soak their death in the wine of futility. And such is not something I was raised to imbibe. Perhaps I wasn't the lost wanderer the spirits mentioned, after all. They said you would mend wounds, not save a life or bring back the dead. We've simply yet to find the true meaning of their whispered words, their talk of brains and meat. I can tell from your unwavering gaze that you seek something, something natural and grander than yourself. What is it? Don't be shy. I'm in search of an elder Iotan. Hmm, yes. They are among the elders, elder spirits with which I hope to form a connection. My undertaking to pave the path forward coexistence. Hmm, let me try that again. My undertaking to, pa to pave the path towards coexistence with the realm spirits was meant to culminate in communion with an elder spirit, said to have a direct connection with the demiurge, magic's very wellspring. While a carnute might be the obvious choice, man and beast are not known for their accord. Human and trees, on the other hand, have shared a secret, sacred bond forever and I suspect the Jotuns would be more receptive to a petition. How do we accomplish this? Indeed, indeed, it's said that all spirits have desires, just as the Loa do on Earth. Certain goodies they just can't pass up, regardless of which hand offers it forth. If we can learn what elder Jotun hunger for, doing so should garner their faith. And I say you're one lucky duck because ancient druid tales tell of ageless trees that offer their hearts to men as a symbol of friendship. If they give up their heart, won't they die? Haha, <laughs> do you take all stories so literally? An Iotan heart is the inner core of an Iotan's fruit. A vital organ in its own way, full of sustenance, but not blood. At least, not as we know it. What could a tree possibly desire? If I had an inkling, I'd have told you. We can ask further guidance from the lesser spirits, those we already know how to speak with. We only need the right offerings. I understand if you're not up for another ritual at the moment. I let one realm walker down. This is for me as much as it is for you, a chance to make amends. The Loa are partial to the flavors that are both of and against their own nature. I'll make you a list, and upon your return we'll sing with the spirits together. In the meantime, I'll prepare the ritual. Goodbye. Okay, we need cloth, gem, fen bass. Which, we can get fen bass right... Oh wait, we don't have a... I was gonna say, we can get one here. Except we don't have a fishing pole. Let's go home. Let's get all this stuff. Ta-da! Okay, we need four cloths. We got plenty of cloth. Of various kinds. Let's get four crude cloth. Oh, let's put away all this other stuff. Wait. We haven't had cobalt yet? Right on. I just picked one up while we were transporting. Or in the middle of... After... Mm. I picked him up after hitting the button, and in that time of waiting five minutes, I picked him up. <laughs> That's basically all I was trying to say. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, these are tier two.
Okay, do we have Fen Bass in here? We do not. It's alright, we can just go back and fish. Let's let's turn that blue. No, let's not. We don't need that. Okay, uh, we need four cut gems. How do we make that here? Okay, so we need one gem, one stone powder each. Interesting. Oh, we need Fenbass oil. Do we already have Fenbass oil? I don't think we do. So I'll have to go catch a bunch of Fenbass and then make oil out of it. I think it's... is it one for one? It takes two. So we're, we're gonna need 16 Fenbass. Okay. Okay. That's cool. We can just go get that now. We don't have to wait for that. Because we've got to go back anyways. We've got to come back here to make the oil and then go back. So, yep. So, we are not going to be... Oops, that's not, not at all what I wanted. Okay. I just did all that so that we can have a nice little platform to fish from. I really wish you would remember where we last were instead of having to scroll. This, um, it still needs work, obviously. But, hey, hmm? three sticks. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're ready.
All right, 16 Fenbass. Let's get back home. Let's set this fish oil. Red eye? No, fen. Fen bash, please. Eight. Thank you. Let's put the red eye we caught in here. And go take a nap, because we are cold and tired. Did we make cut gems? Oh yes, we did. Deliver oil, deliver cloth, deliver gems. Let's head back out. Oh, we didn't like do the warpy thing in. That's okay. Excuse us. Hey, I got your stuff. I have the offering gifts we need. Come then, we'll present these to the lesser forest spirits in exchange for guidance on your path. Whether surviving or thriving, it's the low is doing. Ready, comrade? I've collected my woods. Legba, open the gates for me once more to greet the spirits of this realm. Let them take these offerings and speak through me so my guide's death be not in vain. Let them reveal that which makes the Elder Yoden's belly moan. Hmm, yes. You hear them? The spirits whisper through the trees, knowing what you seek. Another augury. The same edict over and over. Gleaming meat. Gleaming meat. What's their meaning? Hmm, I wonder. Ah, we. Oui. The spirits were playing coy as ever. A lost one will mend wounds. Fill their brain with communing meat. These auguries are two sides of the same coin. This is quite the power you harness. The power is not mine. I only give myself to them. If you ask the druids, all magic words that works that way. Borrowed, gifted, but never truly wielded. The spirits seem to like you. Some do, some don't. Just like people. All this proves that they share a desire to live in tandem with us and that they see something in you. You have a natural connection to the realms. It's not natural, but learned. A matter of survival? Mm -hmm. No. I like this one better. I felt this long before I even was spat into the realms. Then embrace it headlong and with ceaseless wonder. What meat would a tree want? There are many pickily... There are many picky loa but none so much as the elders. They want something one of a kind, yes indeed. Something that bleeds vitality. A hearty ritual meat. It is. 
as if I can see all the ingredients in the dark of my mind. Quickly now, let me write it down in that fancy book of yours. And this recipe is what I need to offer the elder Jotun? I'd bet all my ears on it. My brother's grave, too. Before you fly off, may I ask one more favor? Would I be a burden to petition you to prepare the offering twice over? One for old Ludivine, and one for yourself, of course. It would help my cause more than you know. I've dreamed of something like this ever since I relocated to Nightingale. It would be my pleasure. My thanks is eternal twice over then, my lost one. You know where to find me. I've got the others to mind, and so much needs to be done if I'm to attempt appeasing an elder. I'll return with your ritual meat. Okay, let's uh, head on back, make some meat. Home sweet home. Didn't we just sleep? Huh. I feel like the time is off in these realms. Yeah, we definitely just slept because we're our health or our rest meter. It's like it was all the way up. Huh. Yeah, t definitely timing is off. So let's make uh ritual meat. Wait, how do we how do we make it? Oh, we need a meat grinder. Don't we have a meat grinder? Aha. Uh -huh. Let's move this over here first. Let's disconnect it and reconnect it. Oh. <laughs> it's right there. Okay, so we need failed meat, two gems, three gems. So, we got tons of ritual meat from killing that Kepri bug so many times. Uh, six gems. Quartz should be good enough. That's going to take a while, huh? Wait. Why do we... Didn't we already get the cut gem? Moving on. <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to Ludovine one more time. And then we'll conclude the episode. Which is quite dark. Quite dark indeed. Thankfully, we got one of these. Honestly, the time in this game is kind of, again, feels really off. Because we've had to sleep pretty much three times in a row. Our rest meter has hardly gone down. Very, very strange.
Oh, all right. I have the Elder Lutens Ritual Meal. Oh, yes, yes, it looks and smells delicious, otherworldly, like a burning fruit. This sacrifice such shall make such a fine offering. All goes well, it'll be a first step towards greater, greater understanding to show in the Elder Spirits we mean to do right with our presence in their domain. Hmm. Perhaps them mended wounds the love foretold weren't of phys weren't of physical Fuck. <laughs> Let me try it again. Hmm. Perhaps them mended wounds the love foretold of weren't physical after all. Are you going to perform the ritual for the Elder Jotun now? Oh no, no no no. I won't make the mistake of haste again. It takes time, music, and more voodooists to prepare a lasting communi communing ritual of this scale. No doubt the druids and hermetics will want this all documented, seeing as it's one such area where they see eye to eye. I'll make sure your name makes it into the story. I'm not sure how I feel about animal sacrifice. Feels a bit macabre. Do you not hunt in order to consume and create? Offerings are done with reverence towards the life-giving essence of a beast. First we nourish the loa, then we nourish ourselves with a feast. Nothing is wasted. Drinking in new ideas is how one reconciles their beliefs with the unknown. You might do well to remember this. Then the Elder Jotun will accept this offering? If there's truth in the druid tales of old, you will be holding one of their ripened hearts before you know it. Before our paths diverge again, I have one last advice to offer you, Wanderer, taught to me by a voodoo queen ages ago. Most think, most tend to think of crossroads as only having two paths, but that's a fool's assumption. The forks may well be infinite. Keep that in mind for the long journey ahead. Godspeed, Ludovan. Okay, I think I'm going to end things here. We've had a pretty long episode already just questing and stuff like that a big chunk of it was spent trying to find bishops hopefully i can cut that down pretty reasonably um yeah and then in the next episode we'll handle the last third of the quest and hopefully get into the watch anyway hope you all enjoyed and i'll catch you all later all right peace